little different video today. We are going to have a video on the 1967 StarCraft. This video is going to be for eBay uh, for an auction, so uh, I'm just going to go over all the details and uh, enjoy. So, again, here's the boat. It's a 1967 StarCraft, 14.9 uh, inches long. It's uh, currently registered until March of 2011. It's been inspected this year, had it out twice. Um, the trailer, it's got the uh, just PVC on either side for uh, when you're backing up, you can check. It actually has a gate on the walkway down there, which makes it a lot easier when you're putting the boat back in. New uh, wheels and tires with bearing buddies on them. Uh, it does have a ladder. So again, it's a 65, I believe a 72, 65 horsepower Johnson. There it is right there. I do have a title for both the boat and the motor. All the lights do function. So get this side. There it is on this side. It uh, does have a newer gel coat on there. I already had it when I purchased it. Uh, really no dings to speak of. I mean, there's a few little, uh, just maybe three, like little indentations like that. Um, other than that, no dings. does have a spare tire. Horns work. It's got uh, some rope. All the, Again, all the lights work. has a newer windshield. Um, you can see the interior here. does have a uh, does have new carpeting. Brand new carpeting. It's got a bench seat that's made out of wood and fiberglass. And uh, seats four comfortably. Here are the seats. See them there. It does have a CD player. It's a uh, detachable face. Uh, sounds real nice. Uh, six by nines. We'll, uh, we'll get a stool here and we'll go on the inside of the boat so I can show you some features. And again, okay, it includes the uh, obviously anchor with brand new rope. We are on the cockpit. Has a fish finder. Works fine. There's the radio. Can't really play much because it's copyright. But there it is. Detachable face. It's got that little cup holder over here. The uh, horn works. There's the button right there. The lights. There's your bilge pump right there. It does have a brand new fire extinguisher, which is rated for this. There's the 6x9s. There's two of them. And if you can see that, turn the light on. Again, new carpeting. It's got the Johnson uh, hydroelectric drive there. Um, here's your lights actually right here. Got a compass, which is no big deal. Supposedly has a newer windshield. Yeah, it looks okay. It's a little bit, a bit foggy. Now the seats, they do fold down for lounging, I guess. I'll give you an example here. Sorry for the shaky video, but you simply pull them. And they'll go all the way down. I'm only doing it one-handed and I've got some stuff in the way, but they will go all the way down. So you can use them as a lounge chair. To put them up, you just pull them back together. A lot easier with two hands. So back here, going back to the back seat. It's custom made one. You've got I believe it's an 11 and a 7 gallon gas tank. New battery with battery box. Plenty of rope. Again back there you'll there's a new bilge pump. Absolutely leaks nothing. Doesn't leak at all. Um, not a drop. We took it out and uh, didn't even have, I mean, it wasn't even damp back there or the front. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, obviously, you got your primer, motors. Uh, it's actually been checked over. It's got, uh, oh, also going back to the gas tanks, another incentive. Both of them are completely full. So, um, new plugs. It's got a new. Uh, 
believe distribution block or something like that. I'm not real familiar with boats, but it's got some piece in there. It's really expensive. Um, again, we'll walk over here. See over the front here. More rope there. There are the horns. All the lights work. Um, again, it passed the safety and check, which they will not pass unless everything's good. We'll go to the accessories included. I'm sorry for the shaky video. Again, this is doing this one-handed, so. And we will also start the boat for you, too. Comes with a couple oars, some bumpers. Comes with the Johnson manual. That is the official manual, really thick. That's uh, 80 bucks by itself. Comes with a little floatable container you can put all your items in. Comes with a skein prop. Little, uh, comes with the flag, safety flag. Comes with the, uh, just a little first aid kit. There are your muffs for starting your motor. A couple, extra, three extra plugs. This is a three cylinder. Some flares, uh, whistle. Comes with three brand new life jackets. These are the, uh, Expensive type here, obviously, the best, and the cheaper orange one. Still about uh, probably $120 in life vest. It does have a full canopy that you can put on it. Here are the um, rails. It is ripped on some of the seams, and it does need cleaned. Incredibly hot in there, I wouldn't recommend it. And then it comes with a boat cover as well. Going back to the trailer, it does have a jack. Uh, there is a slight see right here quite little uh, knock in it there uh, everything else works uh, cranks fine fits the boat perfectly pretty much everything uh, it's ready to go lights all the lights work again as far as on the trailer itself um, only thing you need really would be a, a you know a driver uh, everything on it it works perfectly and this is a perfect uh, starter kit again uh, everything all oh, also comes with uh, more oil Super Tech Marine two cycle oil. Um, again, two two full. Uh, I think it's 11 and 7 gallons. So you got 18 gallons of gas in, included with this deal. So a uh, real nice boat. Does about uh, 32 or so with a skier. I'm told. Without we had it up to about uh, it was like 37, 36, 37. Um, for the size boat, I mean that that is flying. So there it is again. We will hook up the muffs and uh, we'll give it a start, so uh, stay tuned. Continuing on, this is how you would hook up a uh, air muff. That's how you start a boat without having it in the water. Essentially the muffs go over there, put the hose on it, it's all floating through the motor. Um, I did put this on the van. I forgot my kids were listening to the radio one night and they did drain the battery, so I know it would not start without the van, so we'll get it. Give it a shot here. It's been uh, the only time we took it out, the only two times were uh, the weekend before the 4th of July and two weeks after. So hopefully uh, it'll start uh, fairly easy. I don't know. Hopefully that the battery is not uh, too dead. So there's your key. You've got your choke down here at the bottom there. Go ahead and put that on. Hold that up. We'll return the key. There we go. Go ahead and give it some gas here. A little bit of choke. Throttle, I should say. go start fairly easy go ahead and show you what the uh, motor looks like set the camera down for a moment here well actually shouldn't have to yes we will so set you down right here
There we go. Three cylinder. See, it has no leaks. All gas is good. Looks like when uh, the last time they had rebuilt it, uh, somebody had probably had it uh, painted. Starter's in good shape. Here's your uh, choke. You can do it, uh, you flip it down, it's choke off. Now up front it won't work if you've got it flipped off, so keep it here in automatic. As you flip it up, that flips up. It's uh, actually got the new ignition. I said distribution block. Brand new ignition on it. Um, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, as again, it's ready to go. Um, no leaks. Runs excellent. Title for the boat and the motor, both in hand. And uh, the, uh, the battery will be charged once, uh, once I let this run for a little bit. Um, again, the kids just left it on playing with the radio. So please feel free to post questions, comments. If you're watching on eBay, uh, please feel free to email me any questions if you'd like to come and see it. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.